County and four of its five unions reach a deal to avoid massive layoffs. Good evening, I'm Michelle Imperato. And I'm Richard Rose. After six weeks of on and off again negotiations, county leaders reached an agreement with the police unions today and also the county's largest civilian union to save the county $43 million. For weeks, Nassau legislators have been met with protest signs whenever they've tried to take up the budget. County Executive Tom Swasey says the compromise involves two-week delays in payroll and not filling open positions, but he is still negotiating with the corrections officers. Four of the five unions have reached agreement with the county or an arbitration award. We have 43 out of the $50 million in savings we need. Most of the savings this year is coming from what's known as a lag payroll and a reduction of the workforce as well as the deferral of some raises. Next year, the uh, lion's share of the savings will come from a permanent reduction of the workforce. 100 less police officers, bringing it down to 2550, uh, and about 300 less CSEA workers, civil service workers. Uh, I don't think we'll be done in a day, I'm being honest. Uh, it's going to take a little more time, but uh, I, I'm just hoping that we progress. Uh, 11 legislators, it's bipartisan, actually voted for 20 six days to give to the county executive in the event he needs to actually close our county agencies. Now the deal must still be ratified by the unions. It passed the legislature today 11 to 8 with one Republican voting for it, Michelle. 11 continues. Nassau County's largest union called for change today, claiming the future of Nassau University Medical Center is grim. The hospital is reportedly facing a $34.2 million deficit and is considering laying off hundreds of employees. CSEA says the county should either take back control of the hospital, regulate spending, or make a special taxing district to create a new revenue stream for the facility. The union is accusing the hospital of wasteful spending and overpaying top administrators while the employees suffer. Now, if the Senate doesn't pass a number of time-sensitive bills by midnight, people across the state will feel it. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan tells us what's at stake. With youth programs now threatened, working parents are panicked. That would be really bad because if kids don't have a place to go. James Jean worries that the mess in Albany will translate to summer trouble on the streets here. We'd be inside very lazy. Just I just think it would be boring. We won't get to feel the fresh air outside. It's D-Day for Nassau County's budget. If the state doesn't act by midnight on a number of measures, a rolling cascade of draconian cuts to social services could begin with as many as 900 county worker layoffs, including 250 police officers. Incomprehensible that these guys cannot just sit down and say, okay, we'll fight about the leadership battle later. Let's just get together and pass this important, urgent legislation. Nassau is handcuffed until the Senate approves the $65 million bond authorization to pay for an early retirement program to reduce the county workforce. The game is over. The governor is asking for you to get it done. The courts have asked you to get it done. The, the All the labor unions, everybody, the residents. What do we got to do? What do we got to do to get these guys to do their job? Nassau says property taxes could now be raised, funding to youth agencies slashed until Albany agrees to the cigarette tax, red light cameras, and ticket surcharges. They need to have a four um, care for their children and that's what we can provide by getting these county funds. The chaos in Albany is affecting communities everywhere. In Westchester, residents gave the Senate a failing grade. Nobody cares about the petty issues they're fighting over. People are hanging on by their fingernails. Many voters across the state are threatening to remember the politicians' bizarre behavior in Albany when it's time they're running for re-election. From Mineola, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News. Now, because of Albany's inaction, non-essential Nassau County offices could be forced to close for 26 days a year. Affected workers would not be paid and the county's budget gap would continue to grow. Political state senators showed up for another extra session tonight in Albany as required by the governor, but all we got was another chapter of as the gavel bangs. The session is adjourned, seen it there. Yeah, there you go. State Senators again adjourned this evening's session shortly after it began tonight at 7 o'clock. Meanwhile, our county governments are losing big bucks as bills collect dust in Albany. Scott Feldman takes a look at the numbers in a story you'll see only on 12. There's so much stuff that has to get done. Nassau Executive Tom Swasey pleading with state senators to pass a $2 a pack cigarette tax. That would raise $20 million to close the county's $27 million budget gap and stave off cuts to youth programs that teens say are making a difference in their lives. We've learned so much from it, you know, communication skills, leadership skills. 
With the Senate stalemate, most at risk for Nassau is an early retirement program to trim the county workforce. This was deadline day for lawmakers to sign off on a huge bond issue to pay for that program. Without the $75 million, Swazi says a thousand county employees would have to be laid off and county offices closed. But exactly when? I asked the county executive. July 8th is the date that we wanted to start closing county offices. July 11th is the day that we were thinking about the layoffs, but I don't want to commit to any dates until I've negotiated with the unions. The head of the county's largest union is fuming about the Senate's inaction. He says it could stall retirement incentives for more than 500 county workers and threaten the future of those still on the job. They are failing miserably, and quite frankly, we're not going to forget. Uh, I'm telling you, if I lose any members to layoffs because these guys or, and gals did not do their job up in Albany, we're going to make sure some of them get laid off when it's time for their re-election. The county executive says NASA will pay a huge price as long as the Senate fails to act. It costs us $100,000 a day. It's the county getting the money. It's, that's the problem. We have to cut more in order to come up with this money. And the system is broken. Scott Feldman, News 12, Long Island. A $2 Albany could be a, a very real cost for that power struggle. As Ida Siegel reports, the bickering in Albany could cause layoffs on Long Island. For Nassau County locksmith Frank Malloy, the trouble in Albany is much more than political squabbling. He is on the list to be laid off if the county can't get state approval for bills that would fund his salary. These guys up in Albany. I mean, not for nothing, who are acting like children. Malloy, who has four children of his own, says he would be forced to leave the state if he lost his job. County Executive Tom Swazi announced as many as 900 county workers could be laid off because Albany has yet to pass legislation for a new cigarette tax, red light cameras, and surcharge tickets. My wife, my, 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 my kids, my life. One of these senators could be a hero by just saying, you know what, I'm going to do the right thing. I'm going to go to the other side, get these bills passed, and then we have five months to fight about who's the leader. Also on the chopping block of Nassau County doesn't get that additional revenue, Nassau County police officers. 250 of them risk losing their jobs. Believe me, if we lay off 275 police officers, the people who rob banks and who rob homes are going to know that we've done that. Legislator Peter Smith says the county executive should try to find the money elsewhere before laying off police officers. The county says there isn't anything else to cut that would generate enough revenue. As for time frame, technically the layoffs were supposed to happen today. The county, however, is monitoring the situation in Albany. It says if things aren't settled, layoffs could happen in the next couple of weeks. Frank Malloy has a message for the senators. New Yorkers by nature have good memories. So do the right thing and do it fast. In Mineola, Ida Siegel, News 4, New York. Both New the union that represents nurses at NASA University Medical Center says the hospital has violated the terms of the nurses' contract. Kate Masso reports. They say they smell a rat. The Civil Service Employees Association put up this 12-foot inflatable rat in front of Nassau University Medical Center in East Meadow earlier today in protest of what they call dangerous policies of the hospital's administrative staff. Well, the rat just shows it's always been a union symbol of a management team that has no respect at all for the, for the working class person. <laughs> The union's president explained that the hospital administration has violated the terms of union nurses' contracts, rescheduling them to work shorter shifts that they say often result in overwhelming nurse shortages. It definitely affecting patients because there isn't as many nurses to do it. And in a short eight-hour period when you have a critical patient, you don't know your patient. There's no continuing of care. You cannot sacrifice patient care to squeeze out the dime. It's not going to work. CSEA officials say that this is the first of many protests against what they call a corrupt hospital administration. And they say they hope to gain support of local politicians. And they're starting by gaining support of people right here on this street corner. Because this is just the beginning. It's only day one. We're going to be speaking at legislators. We're going to be speaking upstate in Albany. We're going to be marching and demonstrating out here one day. We're going to make this administration wake up from their coma. In East Meadow, Kate Masso, LI News Tonight. And Nassau County employees were fired for doing favors for their friends and family. Favors that cost the county $25,000.
That's what Nassau County does all the time. They go retro on their own policies before they were in place, and we're supposed to know like we have some kind of genie in our head. CSEA President Jerry Laracuta is upset because Nassau County Executive Tom Swazi announced the 